I've always thought of myself being fairly healthy. I have run some marathons. I enjoy walking a lot. So I thought I was doing pretty well. So then Dr. Gessel decides to have this heart valve study and needs people to be part of the study. The day of the study on a Saturday afternoon, I walked over to the clinic thinking I'll be in and out of there in about 20, 30 minutes. And I get there and he's telling me that he thinks that I've got valve issue, a leaky valve. Heart valve disease is considered any disease of the four heart valves that we have in our heart. And if it then impacts your heart function, then that also is combined in that name of heart valve disease. We consider it still a more degenerative disease that comes with age and various other diseases that you might have. One of the symptoms is a little bit of shortness of breath. And I didn't have that much except when I'd climb or walk up a hill. So that was the only indicator that I had. But even me, I'm thinking, you know, you're gonna be 70 years old. That's just plain old age sneaking up on you. Valvular heart disease is a public health crisis and it's mainly around education. Patients may not think about symptoms that are typical for heart valve disease. That makes it a real epidemic because we're not seeing enough patients. The next part of the epidemic is even if we know about valvular heart disease, we often see patients actually not getting the right treatment. It used to be the only way to treat or replace a damaged valve was through open heart surgery. Today, with new research, new technologies, there are less invasive ways to do that. If you see shortness of breath, if you see chest pressure and chest pain, don't ignore it, have it checked out. One screening event can really save you. The fact that they discovered this was a real eye-opener for me. I'm very happy that I went to the study. This has been a TPT Partnerships co-production.